Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to make a frequency histogram. Let us use this example. First, you have to sort out the data and since this is sorted out already, we have to highlight it from the first or the lowest number down to the highest number. So again, highlight the sorted data. And then after you highlight all of them, go up here and then find the insert chart. Click it and there you go. We are looking for the histogram, but this is not what we are looking for. So we go here, chart type, click it, and then there are suggested graphs and you have to go all the way down here and click histogram. We have histogram chart here and there you go. So after you see the graph, look at the title on the Y and on the X. There's no table number and table title, so we have to customize it. But before that, okay, click the customize. Next is histogram. And we have to change the bucket size. And here, the bucket size is the class interval. In the table, the class interval is 27. I will repeat, the class interval and the bucket size are the same. And the class interval in the table is 27. If you will check that out, 107 minus 80 is 27. I repeat, class interval 27 is the bucket size. So here, click the auto. There are suggested class interval or bucket size, but in the table, our class interval is 27, so we have to change it to 27. And then after you change the class interval, click it or hide it, and then let's go up and put the chart and axis title first. Click this and this is vertical axis title, so I want you to click it. You could see chart title, horizontal axis title, vertical, so click chart title. If you want to change the font size, let's say I want it to be 20, and then I want my title to be bold, and I want to put it on the left, at the center, or on the right, so I want it at the center. If you want to change the color, I want to make it green. And let's type the title. So this is histogram of discourse of statistics students. So this is our title and it's at the center. Now, I want you to go up here again. And we will change the y axis to the vertical axis. Remember, the vertical axis is always the value of frequency. If you want to put frequencies or frequency, it's fine. If you want to change the title font, size, make it bold. Change the color since I chose green. Let me make it green. And then let's go up here again. Click it and the horizontal or the X axis for the histogram. The X axis is the class boundaries. And then change it again if you want. I want to make it wide. And then 20, make it bold at the center, and the color is green. So that is the second step. You have to label your graph. Then, after that, we have to change the class boundaries. In the table, the lowest class boundary is 79, and the highest class boundary is 295. Then, let's hide this by clicking the chart and axis title. So, how do you change the x-axis? So, as you can see, 
you have here horizontal and vertical. Let us change the horizontal axis. Again, if you want to change the font, it's up to you. I just want to make it Arial. And then I just want to be my font 16, but it's kind of big, so let's make it just 12. And then I want to make it bold. And then if you want to change the color to red, that is fine. Then here, the lowest is 50, but that is not our lowest class boundary, which is 79. And the highest class boundary is 295.5. So... Your lowest class boundary is your minimum value, which is 79.5, and the maximum value is 295.5. Here, we already have 79.5 to 106, 106 to 133, and so on and so forth. So I will hide it by clicking the horizontal axis. I don't want my frequency to be like this. I want to make it from 0 up to 15 so you can actually change that go here and the minimum value is 0 and the maximum value if you want to be 15 or 16 it's up to you so we have 2 4 6 8 10 and so on so sometimes it's hard to identify the number but here since the interval is just 0 2 4 6 or 2 this one is 7, this is 13, but if you want to put a number, go to grid lines and tick, then here. You can unclick the major grid lines, but it's hard. So let's put the major grid line. If you want to change the color to, let's say, light blue, it's up to you what color you want to put in, make it yellow. The minor, the major tick, or the minor tick. How about if you want to change the color of the bar? Just double click it and you can actually change the color here. Let's say red and let's say this. Okay, so there is line color, so if you want to change it to purple, and this one, let's say you want to make it green. So just play it around, whatever color you want to use, that is fine. So I'm just clicking down the line, and then this one, 100%. Line thickness, if you want to make it 8 and then dash line, but we use solid line here. Just play around whichever style you want, but the most important thing here is your graph has stable title. There's label, this is class boundary, frequency, and the graph is exactly what we need. So again... For histogram, we need class boundary and the frequency, and this is how you make a histogram from the frequency distribution table. So if you think that this video is helpful, please don't forget to like, give me a thumbs up, share it to those people who need it. Happy learning! Bye-bye!